understand how crusty and dusty your weave has to be to be wearing a barrette in South Florida. Like, come on. But yes, long story short, my weave is looking crazy. I'm about to show y'all just how crazy it was looking because I want to show y'all that it's not too late for your weave. If right now you are battling the trials and tribulations of having a really cheap ass weave, don't worry, girl, I'm about to get you right. As you can see, I could not even get the scrunchies out of my weave because it was matted around my ponytail holder. Like, I want y'all to understand that this is not easy for me to come to y'all looking like this. Like, but sometimes bad bitches have bad days too. So when I finally finished fighting my scrunchie and I got my hair all loose, I made sure to take out all the bobby pins, you know, any anything that could be in the way of my hair. And I'm going to start by trying to detangle it. So, ooh, this weave look a mess, y'all. Oh, that point to all that was still in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, but, yes, I'm going to start trying to detangle it. Like, do y'all see how mad this is? I want y'all to see. Y'all seen the thumbnail. That's why you click on this video. I want y'all to know that we about to get right, okay? Like, my weave is done for, like, mad it crazy. But I'm going to try to finger detangle as much as possible to get as many um, tangles out with my fingers before I go in with a brush and some detangling spray. So the detangling spray I'm going to be using is this Ebon 5 Second Detangler. It's for wigs. I've never tried this product before, but when I saw it in the beauty supply store, I knew I just wanted to give it a try. I sprayed it on my hair very generously and then I took this... Um, I actually forgot what this brush is called. It's a specific type of brush, but I took a brush that looks like this and then I just started going in from the bottom of my hair to the top of my hair. Yeah, let's just go with that. And I just brushed it out until it started to feel softer and I could take the brush all the way through. Um, now you can see I still had like some kinks even after detangling, but I'm trying to tell y'all by the time we're done, this brush is going to glide through this hair and this is pretty much what it looked like when i finished detangling so let's go ahead and get in the shower so i use a removable shower head to wash my hair in the shower and with my sew-in i'm starting like towards the roots because i want to make sure that i'm getting those braids nice and clean as well um it's really important to take care of your natural hair underneath your sew-in my hair grows really fast so um, I have a lot of new growth usually in my sew-ins and if I don't take care of it, it can be pretty fragile when I'm taking my sew-in out. So make sure that, like I said, you're just taking care of your natural hair, washing it, greasing it, oiling it, whatever. To wash my braids, I'm going to be using the Camilla Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. So I'm going to be going around the perimeter of my sew-in and starting there and just getting a really nice lather. I really like this for doing... Um, braids washing braids washing sew-ins washing anything where you need that applicator tip this is really good for that um as far as the product itself i wouldn't say it's like an exceptional um quality shampoo or anything like that it reminds me of any other shampoo you know um it does have a nice scent but yeah so if you would prefer to just put your shampoo in an applicator bottle definitely do that don't feel like you have to go out and spend all this money on this shampoo but i'm going to separate the tracks as well and clip up the tracks and just go in between each track and make sure to wash my braids thoroughly now moving on to washing my actual extensions i told y'all this is some cheap ass weave so we're gonna be using some cheap ass shampoo okay so i'm gonna be using a clarifying vo5 shampoo you want to make sure you're using clarifying shampoos when it comes to washing your hair extensions because the more product buildup you have on your extensions the less flowy it's going to be it's not going to move as well it's just overall not going to look as good you want to make sure you get as much product as you can out of your extensions because our natural hair um well if you black watching this which i don't know what else you would be but our natural hair can hold a lot more product than the texture of our extensions you know especially when they are straight extensions or body wave extensions i'm gonna make sure i'm really working this shampoo in and i'm actually going to go through with this clarifying shampoo twice and little hacks so you don't clog your drain just put your hair extensions on the wall and like rub it together it'll literally just stick up there and you can just throw it away after you get out the shower 
So after I rinse out the shampoo from my braids and my bundles, I'm going to move on and I'm going to shampoo my leave out. So yes, I actually use three different shampoos for this routine. You definitely don't have to, like I said, you can put your regular shampoo in an applicator bottle. And if you don't mind using your regular shampoo and your bundles, you can definitely do that. But my shampoo is too expensive for that. Cause as you can see, baby, I'm gonna use this Myel on my um, leave out. And if you know, you know, this is not to be played with. So this is the Bob's, Bob, don't let me lie i'm gonna just put it on the screen for y'all um this is what it's called and i actually really like this shampoo it feels so good it has a nice little tingle to it um and my hair feels really really clean and it smells so good after i use it and i'm gonna rinse it out and we're gonna move on to step three which is the conditioning process now some people might think this conditioning routine is a little bit excessive and for those people I would like to remind you to rewind back to the beginning of this video and see how crunchy my weave was. So I'm going to take this cheap VO5 conditioner and I'm going to be using this on my bundles because I'm going to be doing another quick detangle before I do my deep condition with the silicone mix. I'm gonna use my fingers and just run it through my hair just to get all the tangles out. The reason I didn't do this straight after shampooing is because I'm trying to minimize the shedding because as I have said before, and I will say it again, this is some cheap ass weave. If you ever had cheap weave, you know that it comes out. Like it's, it's gonna shed, you feel me? Like there's no getting around it. It's gonna tangle, like it's no getting around it. But I want to clarify, the weave itself was cheap, but the install was not. And that's why I wanted to extend the shelf life of this hair because my install was actually done by a Miami stylist who did an amazing job. I'm gonna be sure to shout her out too at the end of this video, so make sure you watch all the way to the end. But she did a great job on the sew-in, so I just wanted to make it last just a little bit longer. Once I was finished with that detangle, it was time for the star of the show, baby. This is the only product that is non-negotiable. You have to get this in order to revive your sew-ins. The OGs know if you've been doing your hair for at least 10 years, you remember back in the day when we used to put our weave in the microwave oh, somebody please comment below and tell me y'all remember them days so i don't feel alone and ghetto i'm gonna just let y'all I, I can't even like say too much y'all just gonna have to see what my hair is looking like at the end of this video so i'm just going to be applying this generously to my hair i'm also going to be applying it to my leave out but not as much because this does have keratin in it and i didn't want to straighten my natural hair too much if you guys don't know what keratin is um it's normally a treatment that is used on coarser or thicker hair that makes it more softer and more manageable um, but it also makes it a tad bit straighter it's not a permanent straightening agent like a perm or anything like that it doesn't have any harsh harsh chemicals in it but that's just something to be aware of i make sure to focus the product on my ends as well because those are typically problem areas with cheap weave um, and also at the nape of my neck. Now this next tip I got from a YouTuber named Koya Renee, so I just wanted to give her a little shout out. It was to wrap your hair while you have conditioner in it. So I am wrapping this hair while I have this silicone mix deep conditioner and I really believe that this was a vital process as well to the way that my hair came out and how it has maintained over the past few days. So I'm gonna take a plastic bag, you can use a shower cap, I just didn't have one and I'm gonna let this condition while I wash the rest of my body and then rinse it out. It is really important that you rinse your hair thoroughly because any leftover conditioner will weigh your hair down and make your hair greasy and not flowy and silky baby. Rinse good. So this was my hair once I got out of the shower. It was so, so soft. I'm telling you guys, that silicone mix is something serious. But moving on, I'm gonna take this HP Placenta Leave-In Conditioning Treatment. So I just spray this generously on my hair just to give me a good conditioning before I start the blow-dry process. I'm not sure, honestly, how much this contributed to the overall result, but all I know is the overall result came out fire, so I'll be doing these exact steps over and over again. So before we begin blow drying, I'm just going to take my little dimming brush and I'm going to go through my hair and I'm going to prepare for the blow dry. So I'm sectioning off my leave out so I can do that last and separately and I'm just putting it up into a little clip. So first I'm going to start with blow drying my braids and this is very very important because if you don't blow dry your braids and make sure they are 100% dry, then your sewing is going to have a little funk to it. Oh my goodness! and don't nobody want that you know what i'm saying i know that's not something that you want girl like don't don't listen 
it's gonna take a little minute but it's worth it okay overall this process is a little time consuming i'm gonna be honest but it's worth it if you want your hair to be laid and slayed so take the extra time and really dedicate time to blow drying your braids now once your braids feel dry you can go ahead and start blow drying your bundles now look how these bundles is moving look at look at them you see it flowing like that's already a great sign because we haven't even pressed anything out so i have sectioned off and i'm doing track by track so that helped me it also helped to get in between the braids by doing it track by track make sure you're gentle though because i accidentally pulled a track loose so i'm just gonna go ahead and sew that back and i'm just gonna sew it in the opposite direction of how she originally sewn it just to like really lock it in so the way i was pointing my finger is the way that i'm gonna sew it so i decided to just show you guys right quick how i do this just in case you want to tighten up your sewing as well so i'm gonna take a needle and i'm gonna go ahead and thread it and i'm gonna make a knot at the end of the needle this is really important um when you're doing your sewing so it doesn't come loose so just go ahead make that knot i like to loop it around my finger and then pull it through that's the easiest way that i have found but when you have nails like me as you can see sometimes it can be a little difficult but once you have it knotted you're just gonna go ahead and stick your needle through the webs and then stick the needle through your braid and pull it together and that knot is going to secure your weft to your braid I hope that makes sense. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Now I'm just gonna continue sewing by either continuing that same motion of sewing through the wefts and through the braid, or you can sew around the weft and the braid, whichever is more comfortable for you. So you're just gonna continue to go in that direction. And as you make that loop, you wanna pull the needle through that loop to make a tight stitch. When you're at the end of your stitch, you're just going to do the stitch in the same place twice to secure it and then you can cut off any excess thread that you may have. Sometimes I also add an extra stitch going in the opposite direction just to really secure that track. And just like that, you secured your loose track. Bars. So I wanted to show you guys how much hair came out just to reiterate that this is some cheap ass weave. Okay. All right, moving along. So I'm gonna begin the process of flat ironing my hair. So I'm gonna section my hair off into small sections. You can either do track by track or every two tracks, depending on how coarse your hair is. So I'm gonna be using this Moroccan Argan Oil by OGX. This is a really, really good oil. It's very lightweight. Um, you don't need a whole lot, so you know don't be too heavy handed with this but i just want to put that on every section before i begin the flat iron process so i have my flat iron up to 400 degrees i'm using my paul mitchell flat iron and as i was combing i noticed that i had a piece of thread that was stuck in my hair that was calling causing it to knot up so definitely make sure you cut any of those excess threads i did that off camera but the flat iron method that i use is called the chasing method so i take my section and i start by pressing out the very top then putting my comb underneath the flat iron and chasing it down if you do this slowly with enough pressure you do not have to go over your hair more than twice like it's literally not necessary so i definitely recommend this method so that you can use the minimum amount of heat on your hair this is the last step guys i've showed you all the products all the steps everything that i've done okay we'll just wait till i hit this leave out are y'all ready for this transformation are y'all ready for the final result make some noise in the comments right now okay because the final results are coming in three two you guys i'm back look at my hair it's giving like y'all remember y'all remember a few minutes ago when i couldn't even get a brush through this thing like this silicone mix really is the truth and i also think that wrapping my hair while it was deep conditioning was a really really good tip um so shout out to that youtuber that helped me i will put her link in the description box because that was a really good tip this has actually been about three days later um since i initially started recording this video all i would do is just wrap my hair up um anytime i was just chilling around the house and whenever i got ready to go like i did go to this um business meeting i would just unwrap my hair and just let it go like i haven't did my baby hair since the first day that i 
flat iron my hair again. I have not added any more heat to my hair in the last three days. And I am honestly so shocked, guys. Like, I feel like this hair looks and feels better than it did when I first got it installed, honestly. Um, so if you struggling with your cheap ass weave and you need to revive it and bring it back to life because you're not ready to throw that money down the drain yet, definitely invest in this this silicone mix it was only 5.99 the keratin in it i think is what got my hair so straight so shiny um i did also put it on my natural hair but just my leave out of course um and my leave out doesn't seem to be damaged or um overly straightened or anything like that so yeah that's this this is what the hair is looking like yeah i'm i'm very happy and i hope that this video helped you guys if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and i'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible and i will see you guys in my next video bye okay got a good foundation here a little bit of leave out she had to run out to go get something but let me show you guys the shop it's super cool weird i guess it really took years, you know, after high school to figure out who I am and what kind of man I wanted to talk. Yeah, everybody's like, are you hard on or are you hard Y'all, my sister's getting white. It's giving for Leah. You see it. I'm going to put her Instagram and her all her information in the description box so you guys can check her out, especially if you're in Miami. And even if you're not, she does sell hair. So make sure you go check her out. But it's giving, ain't it? <laughs> Guys, I've really been struggling to find a stylist that is consistent, that has good quality work, that offers washing services, and isn't extremely expensive, um, and I just have to recommend PIM Hair. It was worth every penny. It was a great experience. My hair came out beautiful, Now, as you can see, she does amazing work, so highly recommend.